My name is James Molloy, the president of Athletic South Africa. This year, at Athletic South Africa, we are having a wonderful season whereby the uh, sponsors or corporate company can take an advantage in terms of advertising through athletics. From our Athletic South Africa, we had a fantastic first half year whereby we started with the work work in, in Cape Town. So it went very well. Some of our athletes have qualified for the World Champ. They walked in the World Champ. They did very well. And the second one, it was uh, we ran the uh, uh, junior championships that taking place in Coaches Room. It went very well, whereby one of our athletes, Avi, we break a record three times in a row. It went very well. We didn't expect that one from that. And then our junior championships, most of them 80%, let me just say 70, 80% of our junior championships have qualified for Cali. They are going to Cali. And then the, the next one was the, uh, the, uh, the world, what do you call it, the TOA challenge. We had four TOA challenge, Grand Prix TOA challenge. So where our athletes did very well, and we invited um, the, our neighbor's country, Botswana was there, Lesotho was there. And then Kenya was there where they, that young man ran very well, the 100 meters. And it's good because now most of these African countries, they've qualified in South Africa. It shows that uh, we have did very well in terms of organizing these events and we accommodate some of our African countries. It went very well. We are very excited with the, uh, the first half. And then the, the, the next one, it was, uh, was the senior championship that took place in, in, in Cape Town whereby some of our juniors beat the seniors. We were very excited from our side to see the juniors run very well and beating the, the seniors, especially the, in 200 meters. I saw the young men who beat the, uh, the, the, the seniors. We were very excited with that. But now, this season, the next one, last week, we had a, a, a 10 kilometer uh, Grand Prix series, APSA Grand Prix series, whereby the whole world was there. We invited a person like uh, the woman, like uh, the name of Dibaba, Dibaba was there, took place. And then uh, the main, the, the guy who ran 26.50 was there. So most of our top artists in the world, they came yesterday, the last week for the uh, APSA series, and they did very well because half of the world were the African uh, 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 women and men were there, and they ran very well. Now we are in the season of um, uh, road running now. Uh, next week there was a marathon that took place in, in, in Deben whereby the first runner to have ran 10-11, we qualified for the World Championship, uh, that young man, Mutla Khali, uh, for the marathon and then we are going for the, uh, I think a half marathon that's going to take place at Tabeja and we expect that our artists will run very well, especially those who have already qualified for the marathon, they will use that uh, Kebeka as a preparation for the, the, the World Championships. But we still have a space for those who want to qualify. They can qualify at the Kebeka in July, I think the 10th of the June, June, the 10th of June, where they can qualify for the uh, championships. And I think that's going to be the, the last event, if I'm not mistaken, for the 21 kilometer. Very strong team that has been chosen to go to Mauritius in August. So this is a second round whereby international events are taking place, the World Championships are going to take place. The, the first one is going to be the CAA, and then, then the second one is the Commonwealth. We've already picked a team of 20 of the Commonwealth because we can't go over 20. So they've given us about 20 slots for, for our athletes and for the Commonwealth. We can't go beyond that. Unfortunately, we are not controlling that one. It's Sasko who is controlling that one. And then the, our World Championship is going to take place in Oregon in the USA in July, whereby we are going to extend a very strong team. Most of our athletes have already qualified. And then the Africa Championship is going to take place in somewhere in Africa. So where we have prepared a very strong team too. So you, if you can understand that most of our athletes are going to be very, very occupied. And some of our athletes are going to overlap, especially the juniors, they're going to overlap. Some of them, they're going to run the Commonwealth. Some of them, they're going to run under 20, which is going to take place in, in August in Cali in Cali. So you can understand that uh, our athletes are going to be very busy. So the, the second, second part is going, is going to be a very important one and crucial one whereby all our athletes are preparing for, 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 for the, that one. And then we'll make it a point, we'll try by all means, if and only if we can get money to, to accommodate our athletes and to put the camps together maybe a month before, before especially Aragon, where we're going to put the camp, camp together so that our athletes can, uh, can climatize because you know America's time and our times are not the same. So if we can get money and then we can put the team together so that our athletes can know each other, especially in terms of the release whereby we had a problem whereby our athletes dropped the bait and so we don't want that situation to happen again. We want them to be together, train together 
and then so that we can we, we, we can try to be on top five in the this relay. We'll be there. I am positive that we'll be there. So these are the second part of our uh, championships that are going to be taking place. It's going to be a hectic one, but uh, we'll manage that one. Uh, awards are coming, as you know very well that we never have an awards for a long time. So I think maybe it's one of, in my uh, manifesto, it's one of those things that I've put on. Uh, I'm trying to, to tick the box. So they are going to take place um, in November, I think maybe first first week of November. We will just check with the um, Department of Sports and Recreation to check their dates. But uh, our dates will be the first, first, uh, first week of November. So it's going to be in four ways, for those who understand in four ways. So they're going to take place in four ways in the first week of November, but we'll even confirm the exact date, but that's the first week. A lot of categories, uh, I'll just maybe mention some few categories. The categories that are normally, we normally use as a, a national, as a, the national web. The first one will be the uh, star of the year, maybe star of the year. The second one will be the, the winners of the women's of the year. I'll um, just maybe put some categories that I can. And then the up and coming, the up and coming and star, and then the star of the year, the men and women, the star of the year. And then we'll even include the technical official of the year, men and women, the technical official of the year. And then we'll include even the, uh, the, the staff member of the year, men and women. We just want to try to balance and all that. We don't have to give one person. We just want to make it two, two. And then we'll have a lot of these categories that are going to take place. And then um, the up and coming of the year, and then the, uh, the youth of the year, whatever the categories that are going to put. But there's going to be about plus minus uh, eight categories to, to nine categories that are going to put. And then as time goes on, we'll hear from people what must we add, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, it will be the red carpet affair for so those who want to take pictures. They will take pictures on the day and then we will have a lot of uh, the people from sports and recreation, other people, the dignitaries to be there. So it will be, it will be a, a big event. It's not going to be a small event. So we just want to, to just to say thank you to our, our athletes that did very well. As you know very well, this year it was a choco block. Our calendar was a choco block. There was no chance to, to rest. So it's a golden opportunity for them to just to give them something to say thank you from our side as Saturday South Africa.